What's really cool about this hero is everything heals now, which is pretty amazing because Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on White Rabbit. Little Rabbit has bounced out of Wonderland to come and punish your life. He deals 731 on his attack, 749 on his defense, and 1353 on his health. Overall, statistically, I'm liking everything you're producing. The attack power is pretty awesome, defense is great, and I like that health total. He is running at fast speed, which is kind of weird because I thought that he ran at average speed. He is part of the Riddles of Wonderland event, which means that they do get a bonus. Between 2, 3, 4, 5 heroes, they get anywhere between 2% and 12% mana generation, and anywhere between 5% and 20% critical chance. Really awesome. If there's any event that stacks well, with having all of the same, I do really appreciate what Riddles of Wonderland does because those are pretty impacting things. He deals 280% damage to the target and nearby enemies, which again, we normally see this on an average hero. He, the target gets minus 34% defense for four turns. The effect duration is reset if the target is healed. This effect can't be dispelled. So in his case, he only gives the target the minus 34% defense, but the target and nearby enemies both get the damage as well. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 100,000 silver, 50 gems, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion, Hexweaver. All your treasure is waiting for you right over here. So that's pretty important to notate. What's really cool about this hero is everything heals now which is pretty amazing because the effect just keeps on getting reoccurring and keeps getting reset up because a lot of heroes are healing at small increments when you look at elemental links or different minions, different things. There's a lot of little bit of healing that's going on. So I can see that the defense down is gonna continue to cycle through, especially with him being at fast speed. Really awesome hero. He is also a cleric hero, which means that he's not battling it out with too, too many heroes, but he is potentially grabbing them up, so you could be using them. When we take a look at his Titan grade, he is going to get an A grade on Titan, with him being fast, giving defensive down to the target, also dealing a little bit of damage. Uh, he is also the only uh, hero besides Vivica costume that gives defensive regular defensive down. So that means that you can use this hero in conjunction with Guardian Jackal to give elemental defensive down as well as regular defensive down. So this hero definitely fits on the Titan team. He is going to get an A grade as far as the Titan goes. Could maybe flex into an A+, but I kind of reserve those for the all-around Titan heroes. But still, overwhelmingly amazing against Purple Titans. You want to make sure you bring him in. He's very effective because you're pairing him with Guardian Jackal, and you're going to boost your scores quite a bit. So he's going to get an A grade. When we look at his offensive grade, he is going to get an A grade as well there too. I wish that he gave defensive down to everybody, but he would be too broken at fast speed. Sometimes I forget that this hero is at fast speed, but being able to give defensive down at fast speed, which is really, really awesome. I do like that. Being able to use him with Guardian Jackal, giving it, it uh, defensive down. What's also amazing about this hero is that yellow is a really fast color. There's a lot of impacting heroes that are running at fast speed or very fast speed. So with him only having that small jump, jump up to fast speed versus average means that he'll do really, really well uh, on offense to where you compare him with a lot of different heroes because at that point you have like uh, Drake Fong that's going off at the same time or June going off at the same time. 
So being able to use this hero at fast speed, giving them defensive down, really amazing on offense. He is going to get an A grade. If we look at his tank grade, he is going to get a B plus grade there. Uh, he does have some pretty decent defensive stats. I do like the defensive down. I think that there's just a little bit better heroes that you can be using in yellow. Uh, with him running at fast speed, it is definitely a factor. This should maybe flex into an A minus, uh, especially being that he gives defensive down. But I, it would be a little bit different if he gave everybody defensive down that he hit. Being that he is running at fast speed, probably not the best place for him to be at. When we look at his flank grade, he is going to get an A minus grade. You could definitely pair him well with Teleria or any other hero to where you're dealing damage as well as dealing it to the to the uh, target nearby enemies and then also giving one specific hero defensive down. He is going to get an A minus grade there. And then the wing grade is also going to get an A minus grade. Running at fast speed, hitting multiple enemies, pretty awesome hero. Pretty cool. I do like this. And then the bonus to where they can't whenever they heal they're also resetting the defensive down i wish again that that was for everybody but we can't have it all he is going to get an a minus as far as his defensive grade we are starting to see a little bit more of him on the rise just if people don't have heroes like drake fong maybe missing out on poseidon to where this guy might make the defensive team still a really really awesome hero when we look at his weekly raid grade he is going to get an a on rush attack the ability to be able to give at very fast speed, defensive down, dealing damage and making it so that the healing is resetting. I like that a lot, especially because you can pair him with other heroes that are now running at average speed. Everything's firing at the same time. Awesome on rush attack. Look at his buff grade. He is going to get an A on buff uh, reasoning. He's running at fast speed, being able to hit the target nearby enemies, giving them defensive down. Really awesome there, impacting it to where if they are giving themselves defensive up, you're negating that out on that specific individual hero. Look at his bloody battle. He's going to get an A minus grade. Obviously, you lose a little bit with the whole healing part, but still, he's a hero running at fast speed, dealing quite a bit of damage at that speed. Pretty cool. He does get an overall grade as far as an A grade. I love this hero. Riddles of Wonderland hero. Pretty awesome. So thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, click that little like button if you watched all the way through, and I'll see you on the next video.